This is how you survive a tsunami. Out in the deep ocean, a tsunami can travel as fast as a jet, up to 500 miles per hour. But the real danger comes when that speed slows near shore and the wave rises into a towering wall of water capable of wiping out entire coastlines. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami proved just how devastating they can be. Triggered by a 9.1 earthquake, waves over 100 feet tall killed more than 230,000 people. Among the survivors was Maria Bellin, who was vacationing in Thailand when she was swept away, slammed against debris, and separated from her family. After resurfacing, she spotted her oldest son, and the two climbed a tree to wait for rescue. Her story, which inspired the film The Impossible, shows the importance of staying afloat on anything stable, debris, trees, or buoyant objects, and heading for higher ground the moment you hear a roaring sound from the ocean. But tsunamis can be deadly even without giant waves. In 2018, a 7.5 earthquake triggered a tsunami in Indonesia. As the ground turned into churning mud, Mulis Ipul and his family were swallowed by collapsing soil. Mulis was buried, then suddenly thrusted back upward by surging mud, allowing him to grab a cable and ride the flow to safety. Tragically, his wife and daughters didn't survive. His story highlights why knowing the geology of your region matters, and why grabbing onto anything that floats or anchors you can save your life. Japan's 2011 tsunami brought another valuable lesson, the importance of preparation. When a 9.1 earthquake struck, innkeeper Akiko Iwasaki immediately gathered her family, shut off utilities, and led guests toward higher ground. But seeing people still in the parking lot, she went back to warn them. The wave hit sooner than expected and swept her away. She fought through debris until other survivors helped her onto a bus roof where she escaped before the next surge. Evacuation drills and knowing safe zones saved lives. Today, technology is making survival more possible. Ocean floor tsunometers detect pressure changes and help issue early warnings. Survival capsules offer last resort protection when evacuation is impossible. VR simulators train people to respond quickly under pressure. But the biggest factor in survival remains the same. Awareness, quick action, and the determination to keep fighting, even when everything seems lost. And next time you're vacationing near the ocean with your family, just remember, 